Hello and welcome to Nana's Journey. Today we are going to start on the finishing part of the designer mystery quilt by Fat Quarter Shop. And I've got one set of the roof cut out and the little pieces that, I don't know if you can see it, but there's little triangles in, in between there. And this will make the chimney. So we will do that today and I will do the others off camera. And then next time we're going to make the flowers and put block one completely together. So let's get over to the sewing machine and get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this stripe and the background, put it face together and sew it along one edge. And then we will put another background strip on the other side. And remember when you're cutting fabric to make sure it is facing the right direction that you want the stripes to go when you cut it. So. Okay, there we go. And this, both side seams will get pressed towards the stripe. So let me get the other one pinned and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to iron this side to the middle as well, and then we are going to subcut it into squares. Okay, I've got my piece subcut into a square and ironed into a folded corner. Okay, I wanted you to be aware so that you don't make the mistake I made. These need to be folded in half a certain direction. So have it wrong side facing up and then take the bottom right and lift it to the top left and then press it or, you know, draw your line. That way the angle of your roof, it's on the left side of your roof. I had them pressed this way, which puts it on the right side of your roof and they belong on the left side. So that is the angle at which you want. So be careful of that. Next we're going to work on the roof. And I've already got these. Let's see. This one, this one will go on this side. This one, we need a mirror image. And then we need a set with the corners on both sides. Now I will press those um, corners to the folded to the corner and then trim behind here. But first I'm going to put on the ones on the other side. So I have my mirror image set, so I'm going to set those aside. And I'm going to put the other half on the other two. Okay, let me get those ironed and trimmed, and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to sew these together. And I've, I've got one pressed towards the triangle and one pressed towards the roof. 
so that when I flip it over, it can nest. And then I will just sew all these together. Okay, they're having us press these open so that's what I did and I did something wrong nope I didn't do it wrong the empty spaces here threw me I thought there was supposed to be stuff there okay so let me get these two halves put together nest those seams Okay, and this will also get pressed open. Okay, I forgot to get out the plain block for this. So we have a plain block. It's going to go right here from corner to corner. And that is big enough I want to pin it so it doesn't twist. And then the chimney you put the chimney on sideways so that when you flip it up, it points up and down. So be careful of that. Press these up, trim this off, and I will save these pieces. And we've got our roof. We've got the little, I don't know what those are called, but the trim there, and then the shape of the roof and the background. Okay, we have the roofs done. I have them done in all the reds and the blues. There's six each because there's going to be 12 blocks and next time we will do all the flowers and we will put block one together with the flower. So I hope you have fun doing your quilts. Let me know if you're doing one also and I hope to see you next time on Nana's Journey.